gone from the village, Baron Whore. You best take that back. He's a prize taker, Crown. The gods will never forgive you for this. Ye ain't welcome here, witch. Decent folk live here. Always did know how to win, friends. I was provoked. Mm -hmm. Saw it happen. Wanted to talk to me about something? Amos Far Ipsis. A specialist on djinns. Heard of him? I found a tome he'd penned in the Emperor's library. Far Ipsis set off to Skellige one day and was never heard from again. I asked some of the local folk. Some here still remember him. They know what happened to him? The locals say they last saw his ship off the coast of Hindisfjall. Then a once in an eon storm broke. So he's probably fish food by now. Not necessarily. I must learn what became of him. Why? Do you know him? No. It's not the mage who interests me. It's his djinn. Why are you even interested? Djinns are dangerous sometimes, and malicious all the time. I remember. But the advantages outweigh the risks. If I can tame a djinn, I shall gain incredible power. And that could be useful to us one of these days. Are you sure this mage actually had a djinn? His books strongly suggest he did. He describes taming one, harnessing energy from its power. Storm wouldn't pose a threat if he'd had a djinn. He could just utter a wish. Perhaps he had none left. Or something unexpected happened. Alright, so what exactly do you expect me to do? You must help me find this djinn. I've no gold to offer in reward. But I shall be ever so grateful. Since you put it that way, fine. I'll help you. Thank you. A boat awaits in the harbor. Come. Someone helped Bran into the next life. He was breaking black clad necks yesterday. And suddenly this... See, you've managed to prepare everything already. I have. How could you possibly know I'd agree? I didn't. Decided to risk it. Once you might try to take the initiative. Would you even let me? It would depend on the situation. Respect, Witcher. Fear me. Yo, you drink last night too? The ship carrying the djinn sank somewhere in this area. Not too precise as leads go. I'll cast a spell on our boat. We'll know if there are any wrecks on the seafloor below us. All right, let's get to work. Mind if I take the helm? <sighs> I got a choice. No. I'm not sure this gin thing is a good idea. We managed to seize one before. Do you remember? Of course. Dandelion almost lost his voice that time. <laughs> How lucky your exorcism saved it. It was poetic. Yeah, how was I supposed to know that incantation meant to be gone and plow yourself? You should have studied foreign languages. I'm gonna keep bringing that up for the rest of my life. Of course. Your last wish effectively assured it. My wish was about us being together always. About you mocking my every mistake. Careful what you wish for. And when your wish is granted, you must accept it with all attendant circumstances. Yeah. And as for your missteps, I don't like to see why I shouldn't laugh if they're amusing. There's something here on the bottom. It's too deep here. You can't dive that long. You underestimate me. On the contrary. After all, I asked you for help. I'll cast a spell. It will slow your heart for a time. You can stay submerged longer. Asad I cried a rithorn. Ready. Careful down there. How 
How's it going? Yeah, you know I hate it when you read my mind. Strictly speaking, I'm not reading your mind, but using telepathy. Besides, you've nothing to hide, right? Wouldn't admit it if I did. Not the point. See anything interesting? A shipwreck in the cavern. I'll look inside. Snapped masts, busted planks, and a whole swarm of drowners. Probably drawn by the corpses of drowned crew. They made their nest here. There's also a Clan Drummond figurehead. Not the right ship. Come back up. Say we find the gin. What do we do? Ask for a beautiful house, and a palace, and a queen's crown? Are we still talking about the gin? Have we moved on to a talking fish? Doesn't much matter. Both make wishes come true. What would yours be? You learn in time. Something's here. Another wreck. Let's see if our gin's down there. Found a wreck. It's been here a while. Watch on it. Look around, but be careful. Look for something that might indicate it's the Mage's ship. Skeleton. Somebody pinned his skull to the deck with an axe. A death worthy of a Skelliger. Clan emblem indicates a demon man, so he was from Pharaoh. Got something. A Skelliger's buckler. Clan Hamai symbols. Donar's clan. Donar was a babe in swaddling clothes when this buckler landed here. Yen. Doubt any of these boats were the mages. These are old sunken longships. Come back then. We must search elsewhere. You're getting better at this. Go even quicker if you helped me down there. I prefer to observe matters from other people. Most definitely. Yeah, like when we were looking for the Golden Dragon and the avalanche swept us off the trail. Me clinging to the remains of a bridge for dear life. You gripping my waist, admiring the view. Remember, the chasm below us was breathtaking. Rustling trees, a lazily flowing stream. I remember. Though I found myself admiring what I had right in front of me. Something strange about those rocks. And there's something on the bottom. We'll see what it is. See something? Something doesn't do it justice. A huge crater, as if a meteorite landed here. I must see it. Diving in after all? No, I shall cast another spell, to see through your eyes. 
Now relax. I soon fall to obey them. Ain Eichte Illivade. That is no meteorite crater. What is it then? The effect of teleportation. A powerful force cut out a fragment of the seabed, rocks, and everything lying within the teleportation zone. I always claimed portals were dangerous. I believe we're on the right track. Look for anything that might contain a gin. Fine, but get out of my eyes. Too cramped in here for us both. I soon fall to obey them. Ain Eichte Illivade. in here but there's something you ought to like what half a seal that'll do come back up only found half can you do anything with this i can use it to locate the other half to within a dozen yards and once we find that we should find the gin exactly ready I'll take us there on the count of three. Oh, no, not another portal. Stop whining. One, two... said you were gonna go on three. I did. Look, we must search the area. Yen, not so fast. Gotta tell me what this is about first. Why do you want this Jin? But you already know. A Jin's power is priceless to a mage. That I know. But I also want to know how you plan to use it. Wouldn't go to these lengths if it wasn't something important. You're right. It's important. Even very important. <sighs> How long has this been going on, Geralt? This thing between us. Fifteen, twenty years? We repeatedly split up, then return to one another. Something draws us to each other. But I can never be certain if it's a true feeling or merely a bit of mischief by a djinn. So that's it. This is about my last wish? You asked that djinn to bind us together forever. I want to ask this one to take that wish back. I get it. You want to know what'll happen if magic no longer binds us. I want to know if when the Jin's magic is gone, if we've any magic left of our own. Hmm. Wondered that myself many times. You see? We're just a step away from learning the truth. Come, let's search the ship. Seems Amos was quite the eccentric, asking the Jin to lift half his ship to a mountaintop. He didn't necessarily. Jinns are inherently mischievous. This one might have granted his wish and perverted it in doing so. In that case, I'd appreciate it if you didn't wish I'd disappear from your life. I've yet to decide how to word it. Nothing interesting. Interesting here. Interesting. Mage must have slept here. Nothing interesting. means wonder what this means nice 
my shoes. Looks like the impact with the mountain was so powerful it popped the wearer right out of them. Blood. Someone was dragged across the deck. War left this mark when the ship suddenly tipped to one side. Interesting here. Yen, I think you should see this. What do you have? It's Amos. Looks exactly like the etching in the book. Except his head was intact. Think the djinn did this to him? No, it wouldn't attack its master. This looks rather like an unfortunate accident. When the storm broke, Amos must have uttered a wish like, take us away anywhere, to a mountaintop even. And the djinn granted the wish literally. They had a hard landing. Amos was thrown off his feet and against the wall. The bookcase did the rest. Always knew too much studying could kill you. If he died while being teleported, Seal might still be on him. Behold. Bravo! Come to the deck. I've an idea. Step back a bit. What are you going to do? Summon and tame the djinn. It's not likely to be happy. Stand at the ready. Tame djinn. Rif kaishta ein gaya. Kaishta et displayer. Givered me castle. You. Your master died before uttering his last wish. I cannot capture you. We can struggle like this for eternity or I can release you. If you do one thing for me. <gasps> do you see the spell that binds us? <gasps> Only a djinn can remove another djinn's spell. Remove this one and you'll be free. Storm's over. Yes. It's all over. Maybe we should sit. You look a bit dazed. I'm not, but we can sit. We've improved. Last time we tamed a djinn, we destroyed half of Rhind. Yes, we make a good team. 
Thank you for coming, Geralt. I'd have had a much harder time of it on my own. Well, never could say no to you. Hmm. Perhaps that will change now. Feel anything? That anything's different? Hmm. I expected... I don't know what I expected, actually. A bit of vertigo, perhaps. I thought you'd become a stranger to me, that I'd look at you and not feel a thing. But it's not like that at all. Nothing's changed. Sorry, Yen, but magic's gone for me. Truly? But how is that possible? I still feel the same. You should too. I don't understand. What does this mean? means the Jinn granted your wish. Right. Fine. Good. Glad we got that over with. We know where we stand, at least. Naught left for us here. Let's go. Wait. Magic's gone, true, but that doesn't mean I don't like spending time with you. Let's sit a while. Next time we go on horseback. A horse would never make it down that mountain. What now? Well, I'm due to appear in Vizima. We must report to the Emperor after all. Ceres our concern, and only ours. At heart, perhaps. But it's not what we agreed with Amir. We must see him. Awfully loyal to your patron. He happens to be your patron as well, darling. You'd do well to remember that. Otherwise, he might feel compelled to remind you. If we gotta, we gotta. We wouldn't have known Siri had returned if not for the Emperor and his agents. It's the least we can do. Nothing left to say. I'm off. Me too. I'll collect Uma from the Baron, then we'll ride for Kaer Morin. I shall join you as quickly as I can. Farewell. <laughs>